Today, I'll bring you the top five mysterious like in the world. Enjoy. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dahlia. Let's start the inventory video today. The recent days are getting spoiled. I don't know if you can swim. Anyway, I just want to soak in the pool. Well, whatever. I will take you play in the water. Today, I'll bring you the top five mysterious likes in the world. Today's number one guest is Kawados Kanchos. My guest, please put away your bold ideas. This is not a beautiful lady. If I want to say that this is a well-known natural bottomless pit, known as the 11th largest and solved mystery in the world, there will definitely be friends who open the browser to search. You cannot find anything. Because the bottomless pit was fabricated by me. Because this bottomless pit was artificially built by Pertigus. This is a water conducting spillway built by Portuguese in 1955 when the dam in the Estéria Mountains National Park was rebuilt. Although it's not a bottomless pit, but the tunnel is 1,050 hundred meters long. The other end is connected to the lagoon. To put it promptly, it is a sewer that regulates the water volume of the lake. Funnel-shaped hole, more like a black hole on the surface but with a noble and mysterious appearance. Before 2016, it is just a secret that the Portugals know. It was not widely known until it was put on the internet by the filming group in 2016. Then it became one of the most visited attractions for many people in his life. The second guest is Lake Candy from Kazakhstan. Haven't you heard of it? This lake is only a hundred years old. It is a nature dam created by the landslide caused by the 1911 earthquake. After many years, successfully filled the valley with rainwater. The Candy Lake is 400 meters long and is 30 meters deep now. The Crystal Lake is full of fairy tales there. Clips other nearby lakes. The tall spruce tree leaps out of the lake like the mast of the ghost sheep. For the spear of the mysterious army, waiting for the right time to jump out of the water. And this spruce tree floated by rain achieved an exclusive underwater forest system in Candy Lake, make it unique. The third guest is the Tar Lake, or more currently an asphalt pit or asphalt lake, in Trinidad and Tobago. I know what you are thinking. Not only the lake name, even where it is this country, I'm afraid you don't know. This country of Trinidad and Tobago is located in the northern part of South America, west coast of Caribbean, east of Venezuela. It is almost there anyway. And this awesome asphalt lake is the largest asphalt lake in the world. 100 acres, about 250 feet deep, full of black gold tar. Since discovered by British explorer Sir Walter Raleigh in 1595, exploding to all over the world, as early as 1977, there were 10 million tons of output. Today, it has become an important raw material source for asphalt. The advanced roads all over the world have its contributions, including paved streets in more than 50 countries and regions, from near the US and the UK to Singapore and even Japan. Our first guest is Loch Ness from the UK. Speaking of Loch Ness, I guess everyone here can't bear to say a few words. Today, I won't talk about the Loch Ness Monster. Don't judge me, it doesn't work on me. If you do, anyway, you are right. Today, we only talk about the beautiful sensory of Loch Ness. The visibility of Loch Ness is compared to the deep sea in a foggy day. People who see it can't help but find it's damn dark. The reason is the pit piled up in the lake. The water temperature is very low throughout the year. Fortunately, it stays at 5 degrees above zero, so there is no freezing period throughout the year. Water monster fans come here all year round. Riding the boat of the local boatman want to give it a shot, but basically disappointed. We can't tell if there is any monster in Loch Ness. As for the local tourism and GTP that it drives, it was hanging on this list. 
Guest number five is a non-toxic jellyfish lake from Palau. Jellyfish Lake is located on the island off the coast of Palau. It is a salt lake in the South Pacific, connected to the ocean tens of thousands of years ago. Because of coastal activity, it becomes a lake independently. Most of marine life is extinct due to lack of food, except for the jellyfish whose food is algae. Because there are no natural enemies, they have lost their venomous and offensive tentacles and reproduce in large numbers in the lake. At the highest peak, there were 20 to 30 million darkness golden jellyfish. But after 2005, sponge army is coming. The ecological environment of jellyfish has been devastated. Eventually, had to close the open to the outside world to protect the local ecological balance. Fortunately, after several years of recovery, 600,000 jellyfish have returned here. The scene spot is also reported to tourists. Beautiful scenery of the good days is good, but only when we protect them and the ecological environment can we always see them. Thanks for your watching guys. If you like my video, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Click the little bell for more inconceivable records. Bye!